Adam. Barbara. A Casey. Eddie and Frank. Uh, don't expect me to remember that by the end of the video. They're college students. And as often is the case over the years, college students are often on cutting edge of uh, old fashioned and also uh, news stories. Doing what's right, changing the world, and they have seen my videos about America's Hijack Lifelines, and they happen to be in California. They could be elsewhere, but they're walking down the street, and uh, they see a couple of officers out by their car. I hear some policemen actually use cars nowadays. And uh, they strike up a conversation. And they ask, oh, here's the, it's a fine day, nice sunny, a lot cooler than it has been. And then they, uh, they asked him, have you heard about Melton, John Melton Brady? He's been asking for a 911 Flight 93 check for a decade. He's yet to get one. And uh, as I say, they're giving that officer that, uh, that well, let me put it that way, they're giving the two in the uniforms an opportunity to be law enforcement officers or to be corrupt and cowardly. It's something you want to test out no matter where you're at. You may get tired of me talking about the Chinese, but oh, if you're in the Midwest, you don't want your cops to be Chinese lapdogs and not doing their job or not following the intent of their oaths. So you ask him, what do you know about this man? And for sure in California. I've been asking for 911 Flight 93 checks for a decade. Haven't gotten one of them. That's a lot of certified mail, no non-certified mail, no FedEx, no UPS being stolen. If you're going to make mail, uh, send mail, uh, FedEx, any of that, make a video of it first, it's going to be stolen. And they get the officers either being officers of the law, a good, honest, or being corrupt and cowardly. I seem to see a lot of that. Oh, I told you about the, uh, well, let me get the, the, the finish off for yesterday's little parable bite. I did early because I wasn't feeling well. I'm going to describe what, in my, my fun fiction, what I think caused me to feel badly. But uh, well, Frank says afterwards, uh, that's going to make a good video of character. Although uh, nowadays everybody's got phones with... Uh, cameras on them, audio makers if nothing else. I also got those, uh, it's not just for cops anymore, those body cameras kind of thing. I already showed you that, didn't I? Yeah, let's look for some new stuff. And they say, uh, Frank says, uh, who's go who is going to wear the, uh, still got a little of that uh, not feeling well, affecting the vocal cords. Who is going to wear the desk, the desk, the dress today? Oh, they find it's not always the girls that do. 
make for good little old ladies. They're too nice. And they know where uh, the Mormons, Latter day Sinners, happen to be praying, P R E Y I N G, on their neighbors, on the neighbors of their city. And so they go there and uh, they get a little. Oh, it's going to be in uh, Adam's neighborhood, or Frank go put on the dress, or maybe uh, on Casey or uh, Barbara. And uh, you, uh, yeah, you, you know what they're looking for. Little old ladies with a whole lot of cats. Maybe a lot of cats because they don't, uh, don't get many visitors. The kids are halfway across the country unsuspecting that uh, the Latter day Santa is the Mormons are trying to uh, get their uh, granny to sign over that life insurance and that house and uh, everything else to Utah. To uh, the Latter day Sinners, LDS, they're proud of that title. You can see documentary after documentary, morning to afternoon here. You know where to look. But they go to do that. Now let me talk about uh, Oh, you can do that. You, I don't know if you know the uh, older, I guess it's on the, the TV shows, the table stays and Eddie. The Beavers, uh, Wallies, is it? Uh, always uh, acting too nice and very respectful, but uh, he's got something else on his mind, and you know it's not disrespect. It's uh, getting uh, a good beat on our our cops, because you're gonna find their character out. You can point it out, especially out here in California. You can notice tendencies. I mean, uh, before they just snap, and you know, it's not just uh, shooting down unarmed uh, citizens. Uh, it's uh, it just happens to get caught at the wrong time, where there are witnesses or cameras or something. So I'm not saying to get them that angry. I'm just saying to ask them and get them being honest about uh, what they do, what they believe, what makes them who they are. And yeah, you can do that from a distance where they can't shoot at you. You know, call up on the speakerphone. I want to know about that John Melton Brady. He's been asking for a 911 Flight 93 check for a decade. Got a lot of funny stuff, got a lot of mean stuff. Mean fire and brimstone, you don't have to worry about the flatline. See that bright light. And also, uh, the yeah, Matami is uh, mean stuff and uh, funny stuff, off the wall stuff. But he is always very seriously asking, try to call me with a 911 flight 93 check. And I've tried to call him, my friends have tried to call him, I can't reach him. What do you know about that? Officer so and so. And Officer so and so, make sure you get his name. Oh, when you call up the non-emergency, sometimes uh, they give you the, a three-digit badge number. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, a lot of times they don't. But you get them, you ask them, well, you know about this, and you get them being corrupt and cowardly, or there's someone you want working for you. And they're working for the public, aren't they? But let me get back to perennial... Yeah, it's perennial now. It's the last year, this year. Hatred noise, not just from Spectrum's decibel law-breaking fleet next door. Their active participation, that's also something, you know, Eddie and... Uh, Casey, something they do. They ask the Spectrum when they come to put in their cable. Yeah, they don't have guns. And... Uh, You ask them, uh, what do you know about John Mel Brady? This is a, the, a lifeline you're putting in. He uh, lives right next door to uh, a whole lot of folks showing him bad character from your company. 
in California. Oh, they can turn those uh, decibel law breaking things off. Especially in those nine. You don't have to worry about backing it up into a whole lot of folks and you're the only one coming into the parking lot. And lots of folks uh, in parking lots, the supermarkets all over America, they park quite well without uh, annoying everybody. There aren't any kids playing in that uh, parking lot. It's the devil. Devil's lap dog that leads. I uh, doing that. So get them on video. Uh, you have a right. That's your lifeline. You need to know. I, I'm trying to call Melton with this. Not one in a decade. What do you know about that? Ted? Ralph? Get their reactions? You can post. Now, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I complained about the noise, and I've been doing it often as the, uh, the lady who's no longer management here told me to do. She had, she has a, had a, an apartment on site, but she also lived off site and said they had a problem with loud parties and uh, they would call the uh, non emergency police. And after about six, seven times, they did you know, get tired of annoying everybody else in the neighborhood and getting the cops out there. Those are the cops doing the right thing. I mean, you don't have to, you know, get out that nightstick and knock so, some folks around to uh, get your point across that you're a cop. You just simply tell them, this is the law. You can't do this. You can't do that. I had uh, the disciples of the devil in here, and the music had been turned down, but you could still, uh, not even music, noise. You can hear, still hear it thumping through the, the floor. And the devil bit was being, uh, I'll call her Lori. Uh, she wrote her name down on a very condescending and uh, disrespectful card. More to taunt than to say that I'm supposed to go ask if I can move to a different apartment. And lady, do you want to move about to the other end of your block where you live to that house that's not as good? You don't be disrespectful of the public because you've had your breaks. You're making a lot of money as a cop. Get that uh, bitches a character down again and again. I'm the nicest guy you're going to meet. If I say she's a bitch, she's a bitch. And uh, they knocked on the door, refused to identify themselves. I asked uh, at least two times. And that part was removed from the video I posted as the part afterwards was removed too. They weren't supposed to knock on the door. I didn't know who it was. I thought it was the guy from downstairs who was beating on the door in response to a complaint from the neighbors, uh, a complaint from me, calling me a crippled fuck. I explained this to the officer of the law who didn't appear to hear it, didn't appear to hear me say, they can't do anything about him. They, they say it's going to co cost uh, Solari $20,000 to evict him by a noise complaint. If he's doing that, that hateful noise, especially if he's turning it down, when someone up at, sees them come in the, the uh, gate up front, he turns it down, then uh, he becomes a, oh, a, a model, maybe a, a Mormon, a churchgoer kind of uh, a stuff. If he does that, uh, you ought to be able to, to spot that, as you ought to have been able to spot I'm honest as hell, unlike you. But uh, here's something I know. He can call it making something out of nothing. Uh, spot it and act accordingly. Because I've been calling more than six or seven times. I bet it's 15 to 20 times, if not more. And you haven't done your job at all. And it's not just me. Uh, the management told me they're getting complaints from the other 
folks at this apartment, it's the only apartment that's loud out of 52, somewhere in there. And also, the previous minute, probably why they changed. It said her company, meaning Solari, I'm not sure. Would not allow her to talk to the men in person anymore. Now that speaks volumes. So uh, make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines and call up corrupt, cowardly cops, especially the Northeast, and they made this, made sure to print out the disrespectful business card. I think taunting about my business card. The bitch and the son of a bitch. Made the Northeast, uh, Eagle Rock, something like that. Call them up. Uh, check and post and fight with them. Apparently it annoys them when they have to do their job. You give them something to do. And I noticed making something out of nothing that our, uh, our guy with the, uh, our son of a bitch, with the bitch, was standing about 10 feet back from her. When I open the door, and as I open the door, he's saying, he's in a wheelchair. I'm not sure what that meant. Uh, if you see, it, my manual wheelchair at the time, this one. If you see something shiny, you don't have an excuse to uh, shoot down an unarmed uh, man. I'm not sure what it meant. In my street stuff, uh, she's been prepared for the Mormons and countless impersonators, not the one only, always in this apartment. And uh, it was a cue to get her on her the stream. It's my fun street stuff, our fun street stuff, so uh, don't make too much out of it, but he's standing 10 feet open. A man in a wheelchair, it's not like it's for a safety reason, this way if it was, he should be up close to uh, be a part of whatever's going on. He's sent 10 feet away, and then as I put it colorfully in a nice uh, Tommy Verbal yesterday, a rather louder one, because of the bitch's perfume, the reason the uh, male was standing 10 feet away on the walkway railway behind the walkway railway. And when she fin finished disrespecting me and being a good Chinese lapdog, 211, it was bizarre. She kind of got this far off look in her eye, looked over to her right, and it's like she went off chasing the butterfly. Then after a moment, waiting for the air to clear, the guy moved over and uh, Aside from what she said, uh, he wants me to talk to management. He said, if you do have any more trouble, reluctantly, he said that. Call up, uh, call us up again. And so did the LAPD officer that I called up, and next time I'm calling, I don't know who the hell's on the other side of that door. They weren't identify themselves. Maybe if you include that in your training, just me, uh, all of California law enforcement, uh, Stone Cold Mountain. Include that in your, your, your training. Maybe you won't have so many unarmed pedestrians being shot down uh, accidentally. But, uh, hit call up LAPD in particular, but all of them, and ask, uh, give them an opportunity to be law enforcement officers or uh, Corrupt and cowardly. And remember to ask and answer Jesus' question. Is for Rutgers ain't Obama terrorist? If you can reach me by phone, and you know your phone works all the time, at least most of the time. You don't know when else, but uh, you can reach me. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, that reminds me of something. That, uh, that's your family's lifeline. If, uh, you're checking it and you can't reach me. You got a right to know what uh, California's law enforcement knows about that because they're going to know more than most. I've been asking the 9 11 for 9 11 flight 93 checks for a decade now. I've yet to get one. 
No soda pad, no non soda pad mail either. No FedEx, no UPS about those 93 checks, and I haven't talked to uh, too many about that, including the. Uh, oh, uh, a man I called up yesterday. Uh, he's a college uh, college area. I don't know if he's a student or he just. Uh, he said something about a uh, interested in an interview for uh, his New York a little college station that you know about the graphic art uh, and apparently they'd seen a graphic art to uh, him and whoever was in the room there with him at, uh, on Flickr or something. I wasn't sure what it was, and I'm not the, the most knowledgeable as far as graphic art goes, uh, unless you're talking about my stuff, because, uh, yeah, I'm still learning how to work the GIMP. It's a whole lot uh, better than, a whole, whole lot more to do than the uh, Photoscape. But, uh, yeah. Older eyes, let me get that in. Darker brown, what they look like most of my, my life. Uh, this was from March 2013. This is from about a year later and uh, you can see the smaller brown circle slowly disappearing the bigger blue circles growing in through and around this part's gone and this part here can be uh, this part's gone and this part here can be kind of whitish more white less white depending on the day and yeah i had a call from another uh, man from new york city last year i believe and no, no, neither of them uh, mentioned the 93 checks. But uh, it, I, I will hear back. I, I explained I'm, I'm not in good shape. Uh, up all night and I'm not feeling well. They're going to call me back by the, the weekend if I hear back from them. No, if I don't, it, yeah, it's okay. But it says something about making you know an interview on his uh, college radio station at nine o'clock Monday. Here's the eyes doing a little genetic carpentry, slowly but surely changing. See that's really lit up that uh, what used to be the brown part there. If you know what's going on, what will speed up the process if you're a good doctor, as I say often. Uh, My doctors can't talk about the stigmata eyes. Uh, they also can't talk about the 93 check. Good folks aren't going to have a problem with you asking them. What well, do you know about me not reaching John Melton Brady? I see you're on his call off. Uh, yeah, be a good person. So I don't know why. You get angry, you get a, have a story to tell. Then you're, you're going to make the best 911 flight 93 check and post video. Spectrum, uh, the pod people, the Mormons, as you can hear outside, uh, they are very obvious about their participation. I think yesterday morning, they made more noise than they've made in the past uh, month. Coordinated with, yes, the bits from hell in my fun fiction. Conducting chem chemical warfare on, on American soil. Oh, not far down the street from Homeland Security at that. You think they would be interested in America's lifelines not working? And dangerous folks within California law enforcement and government actively taking part in that because they're federal. They're not, you know, puppet strings of the California. A lot of vegetables out there should be, uh, oh, you, you've seen my Clarice uh, image. Uh, he has a uh, video, audio imagery, and uh, call record proof of the hijacking of the American presidency. Oh, both uh, Trump and Hussein, but Trump's kind of relief after placing a cowardly Hussein in our White House, right if we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Hussein. So, uh, yeah, as I said, the doctors, they they can't talk about the eyes or the 93 checks, but I do need doctors. I, I, I need that nice sleeping pill, and I, hopefully one of these days they'll give me some pain medicine that will actually work. Who knows if the heart medicine is you know, working with building the new heart or not. 
but I, I shall see. But I understand I can do that uh, street unseen visit, what you can talk about, what you can't talk about, dance. Uh, you can do it too, so uh, it's no big deal. Let's uh, come see me in person. Uh, let's get started building a better world. Oh, I wait and see what happens with that uh, that radio guy. Cause yeah, I'm not uh, as far as history, graphic work, all that kind of stuff. I don't know all that much, but I do have my twenty-five thousand. Uh, some better than others. Graphic art photos. Print me out from uh, dapadelia.blogspot.com, also Price Complex links. What's the man uh, reference, and that's good because uh, it's got a whole lot of list of uh, stuff on there. Price Complex links.blogspot.com, also Melton for Imagery, my YouTube, and DNFD series, my YouTube. Make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines, post it, and come see me in person, have wit, will travel, show me the perfect place to build. Jesus is an act, what house? A thousand points I'd like to be built once you tear down the great wall of evil. Has just me, and only that handsome ball guy, in my imagery. Be a part of that, and yes, I call it Jesus is an act, what house? You, you can call it an opportunity house, it's an opportunity for all kinds of good businessmen, good honest people all over the world to build a better world. I call it Jesus in the Magdalene House because there will be a test at the end. I hear it's pass, fail, or purgatory.